Hi, this is Donna Fluharty with the University of West Florida Libraries, and today we'll be talking about database searching strategies. Before we begin, it will be necessary to understand some vocabulary. When searching, the computer looks for words or phrases in the computer memory. The words or phrases you choose are the search terms, and a collection of records is a database. Records returned to you are results or hits. The goal of this tutorial is to teach you the skills required to construct effective searches when using online databases. It is essential to understand how to use keywords when to use synonymous terms to expand your search, and when variant spellings might need to be considered. It is also critical to understand how and why truncation or stemming of terms might be needed. We will also examine the role of proximity or phrases and Boolean operators or, and, and not. To begin a search, First, choose keywords from a one-sentence summary of your topic. We will use instructional strategies in our example and begin to find words that have similar meanings or synonyms. An article on, on instructional strategies could just as likely be called teaching strategies. Teaching or instructional are synonyms or or terms. As we look at our terms, instructional strategies, we have already considered instructional, but we also have to examine strategies. The word strategies could appear in a journal article as instructional methods or instructional techniques. These are more synonyms or or terms. OR is one of the Boolean operators we often use in searching. The OR operator is useful in expanding the number of search results returned. OR is used with words that have approximately the same meaning. In the visual of three overlapping circles, the pink, blue, and yellow areas represent records in your search results when you use the Boolean operator OR. The AND operator works in two operations and returns a smaller results list. First, all matches for the individual terms are returned. Then, because of the AND operator, the computer selects only records that have all search terms included. The visual shows circles that represent the two terms searched. Only the overlapping area represents the ANDed results. In summary, let's review what we have learned about the Boolean operators that we used to combine searching terms. The AND operator narrows your search and limits the number of results returned to you. AND is exclusive. The search results show records only when all terms requested are found. The OR operator broadens your search and expands the number of results returned to you. OR is more inclusive. The search returns records when any term requested is found. You can also use NOT in your search to eliminate terms. The next search we want to examine is a search for career academies. Because an article could possibly talk about one career academy, you need to decide how to truncate or stem your term. This is called truncation. For academy, we will put the appropriate truncation symbol after A-C-A-D-E-M. Again, you will need to consult the database to help determine which symbol you need to use. A-C-A-D-E-M asterisk will retrieve academy, academies, and academic. If academic tends to take the search in a wrong direction, you might choose to use OR 
with academy or academies. The next example is the plan in lesson plan. When we truncate plan, we need to be aware we could have returned to us plan, plans, planned, planning, planet, plant, plants, or even planetary. Behavior with an asterisk truncated retrieves behavior, behavioral, behaviorist, and behaviors. Behavior has an additional problem we will cover next in wildcards. Wildcards can be useful to the researcher because they help with words that have variant spellings. British scholars spell behavior with an O-U-R. It is the same with the word color. The British spell it as C-O-L-O-U-R. Researchers will also need to be aware of words like recognize and advertise. British writers use a Z. A wild card inserted in the word to be searched will return all of these variant spellings. The character replacement symbol varies from database to database. Proximity is used to help you, the researcher, in focusing your searching and specifically to have records returned that are more likely to be precisely on topic and allow you to use your time more effectively. When in doubt about how the system specifies proximity, it is recommended to go to the Help, Search Tips, etc. screen. Many systems now allow quotation marks to create a phrase search. Remember that keyword searching will produce more results than a subject search. However, some of these results may be irrelevant to your needs. When you find an article that is relevant, look at the subject terms to use in locating other articles that more precisely match your topic. Also, be sure to check your spelling. If you are having problems with your research, don't spin your wheels. Contact your subject specialist or give me a call or email. We can work together to get you started with successful searching. Thank you for viewing this tutorial and have a wonderful day.